and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop with Maven. Now that we have a basic understanding, we can get back to the problem that currently our Maven build fails because Maven cannot look up the dependency of my Convoys Game of Life project to my Game Loop project. The easiest way for us to solve this problem for now is to get a copy of our game loop project artifact into the local Maven repository on our machine. And there's actually a plugin for that. This plugin is called the Maven install plugin and it installs project artifacts into the local Maven repository. By default, the install plugin is bound to the Maven install phase in the default lifecycle. So I can just execute the default lifecycle up until and including the install phase and this will put a copy of my game loop artifact in my local repository. You see it's building, it's executing, it's actually downloading a lot of additional um, Maven plugins and down here in the last two lines you see that it's actually installing the game loop 001 snapshot jar and the respective POM file into my local Maven repository, which is this .m2 repository thing in my home directory. You can also see that it's automatically creating the folder structure to reflect the project's group ID, which is com, let's develop a games. Um, then this is the artifact name, the version, and in there, uh, there's the actual artifact with a name we've already seen before in past episodes. Okay, and now that we've installed a copy of the game loop artifact into our local repository, we're actually ready to execute the Conway's Game of Life build, which I will do right now, and this should now pass because it's actually able to look up the dependency in the local repository so the build succeeds, as you can see here. This is the easiest way to um, get a dependency to be resolved on your local machine. But as I already said, this is only a solution for your local machine. So in one of the next episodes, we're going to look at how to actually release and deploy uh, Maven artifacts into remote repositories so that they can be looked up, for example, on a build server or on the machine of other developers as well. For the time being, I hope you liked this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment, send me a message and let me know what you think. I hope to see you next time.